Hey. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, um, uh, work for me kind of slowed down. It's going to pick up here in another week or so. I was like, this is a perfect time to go see Ray. So, I'm in Ray's uh, garage right now. And there's a video I've been wanting to do for a while. And uh, it's a lot easier with help. So, um, we'll just we'll do, we'll do a story time. Uh, about 10 or 12 years ago, I went to buy a cam uh, for my 89 coupe. Got there, and uh, the guy, he was a he was a, a round track racer. He's like, yeah, I got a cam that'll work in there. He got out the calipers, and uh, we're gonna use our uh, one quarter race cam. <laughs> Wait, can I tell what it was for? Do you know what it was for? What do you mean? What I use that quarter, one quarter race cam for. No, what do you use this thing for? Um, I didn't use it on this motor. But you can you can take a camshaft and cut it down to drive in that their Welch plug on a on an engine. There you go. So that's his uh, that's his uh, specialty tool. That's his rotunda, um, whatever cam button driver. Cam button driver. So anyways, he got his, his calipers, uh, and then uh, and he got on there and measured it, measured it sideways. Let's see. We measured it like where, where it'd be closed, and then he turned it and measured it top to bottom. And uh, did that a couple times. And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's good, man. Take it with you. And uh, this guy's over an hour away. So I took it home, and I, I, took it to the, I took it to where I worked and got the calipers at work. And started measuring it. And uh, it was a comp cam, and he was saying it was around 510 or 512 which would have been perfect for my little car. Well, I measured it, it ended up being somewhere around 580 or 590. Ooh. So I was like, how did how did he measure that and get that? But anyway, so that's what I'm gonna show y'all today. So what you do, uh, it's a lot easier with digital calipers. Uh, you turn them on, there we go. I'm gonna turn them on, there we go. These have a feature where you can zero it out. So what we're gonna do, Let's put them on the lobe. There we go. Where as if the valve was closed. And we're gonna zero it out. Can you get you got a good enough angle? Zero it out. Then we're gonna twist to full lift. And there you go. And multiply that by 1.6. Yep, 1.6, or or if you have 1.7 rockers, multiply it by that, and uh, that'll tell you. So um, yeah, really easy. I'll do it one more time. There we go. Zeroed out, zeroed ish. Yeah, I'll do it one more time, and then just twist the cam till it's at maximum lift, and then that number. Right there, times 1.6, uh, 1.7, 1.72. Uh, if you're a Chevrolet guy, 1.5. Um, just whatever your rocker arm ratio is, that'll tell you the lift of the cam. All right, now back to story time. Oops. So if you're, um, if you found a cam on Marketplace or Craigslist or something like that, you know, take your set of calipers, you know, maybe something you got from O'Reilly's or uh, Harbor Freight, and verify that cam before you uh, buy it. That way, if he says, yeah, man, it's a split pattern, you can verify it. Just, just check the exhaust and the intake. Um, yeah, short little video. I hope this helps. Um, I actually went back to return the cam on a Saturday, another hour plus drive, and he wasn't there, and I was furious. And I almost swung the cam through one of the windshields of his cars. But I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Um, I ended up trading that cam to somebody who can use it for a set of headers. But uh, anyways, yeah, you can uh, verify uh, lift with that. You can't, I mean, you can't really do anything else with it, but at least verify lift, especially if you're dealing with stuff like us with stop bottom end, stop pistons. Uh, you're kind of limited on what you can do. But uh, I hope that helps, and we'll see y'all later.